doesn't matter what face wash, what moisturizer you're using, you follow these five tips and your skin will improve. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Boulevard Fox, and today I have a skincare video. We're trying to get this skin beautiful and flawless so we don't have to wear makeup, okay? We wear makeup because we want to wear the makeup, not because we need to wear it, okay, sis? So I'm gonna give you five tips that I use to help improve the texture of my skin and the even toneness. is that a word? even toneness of my skin. So let's go. Number one that helped me is using a new rag every single day. First of all, we're not using the same rag or sponge we use on our body on our face. That's not even one of the tips. Sis, we should not be doing that at all anyway. Even if you wash our face in the shower, we're bringing in our face cloth, our face rag to wash our face. And then, like I said, the real tip is, I use a new face cloth every day. I might use the same one in the morning and the evening, but the next day, it's a whole new rag. And it doesn't have to be expensive. I get my rags from Target. Target is like two or three dollars and you get like six rags. I like face rags with a little texture so I can feel feeling when I'm washing it or drying my face. But if you use a new rag every day or every other day, or even if you don't want to do all that, change your rag out once a week. That is the minimum. Change it out once a week and you will see a difference in your skin. The dirt from the day before and the day before that is stuck in your rag because you use the rag to wash your face, wash the dirt off your face. So use a new rag, don't use your rags for too long. Be like me, do it every other day. Every other day, it's a clean rag. Make it white, you can see the dirt, especially when you're taking off your makeup. I don't like makeup wipes, so to take off my makeup, I just use my regular face wash and a white rag. Obviously, I have a dark complexion. Don't even, don't even matter. Any complexion you are is gonna show up on your white rag. So, you throw that one away. Don't keep it forever. Sometimes I use my makeup rags two or three times and then I just throw them away. These are super cheap from Target. Let me know if you want the link, but every time I go to Target, which is probably way too much, <laughs> I just pick up a pack of white rags. It's like, it's less than $5 and you probably get five or six rags in that pack. And it's super beneficial. This is my number one tip. Wash your face with a different rag every day, every other day, minimum every week. Don't keep using that same rag and don't use the same rag that you use in your body cause, girl, boy, no, that's not appropriate. Don't be doing that. Tip number two, wash your face with cold or cool water. Hot water opens up your pores. You're opening up your pores and then you're putting the soap in there, washing it. You can be rubbing old dirt from your face into your pores. And then what's the point of that? I don't know. It just, one day I had like an epiphany to just start washing my face with cool water. And it made a tremendous improvement in my skin. Cold water, get the surface dirt off. You don't want to open your pores to get the surface dirt inside your pores that are now wide open because you steamed your face right before, well, while, while or right before washing it. Face steaming is also beneficial, but that's a whole different video. This is just for washing your face daily, your daily routines. Tip number three, change your pillowcase. Your pillowcase needs to be changed a minimum of every week. I know y'all probably don't be changing your sheets that often. That's, that's not even for another video. That's do what you want, okay? But if you're having problems with your skin, 
breakouts, it might be your pillowcase. Especially if you're a natural hair girl, you're putting creams and gels and oils on your hair. Even though you have a scarf on, you're putting your hair in that scarf on a pillowcase, tossing and turning if you sleep well like me. <laughs> we tossing and turning all night. So it's coming from your hair and your face is in it, your forehead is in it, like everything is on that pillow. Everything that's in your hair is on that pillow is now on your face. Just because it's good for your hair doesn't mean it's good for your skin. Even if you're using natural products on your hair, it might not necessarily be beneficial for your skin and your face. Just like your hair, there's different porosities, different types of hair, there's different types of skin too. So look into changing your pillowcase more often. I try to do mine, honestly, once a week. Once a week. Just like with the rags, get a couple pillowcases from Target, switch them out. Just because you switch out your pillowcase don't necessarily mean you have to do a full laundry load of all your sheets. Have some pillowcases on deck to change out your pillowcases on a regular basis. Tip number four is pay attention to your skin. That simple. Pay attention to your skin when you're washing it. Pay attention to your skin throughout the day. Like when I'm washing my face, first of all, my hands are clean. I'm washing my hands before I wash my face. So wash those hands, wash your face. That's an extra tip, the washing hands part. You touching everything outside, you touching your phone, everything's dirty, wash your hands first. Um, especially at night when you went through the whole day touching everything. Um, but when you're washing your face, feel for textures that are irregular. Literally, use your fingertips and actually feel your skin. Back in the day, I would just wash my face. Okay, my face is washed, dry it, let's go. The texture of everybody's skin is different. So find the irregularities in your skin and focus on that area for a little while. Wash right there for an extra 30 seconds. If you're breaking out there, breaking out in your forehead, wash your forehead a little extra. Get a little extra water, put a little extra soap there and really scrub it. Clean it like you clean your body if something is on it. Clean your face. Don't just wash it, I put soap on it, it must be clean and go. Pay attention to your skin with the suds and everything. Pay attention to the textures. Um, and when you start doing this, you can probably, well, I know I do, you'll probably start feeling when a breakout is coming. Like there's some texture underneath the surface of your skin that hasn't come out yet. So you clean that area extra too. It's not just the bumps that are physically present on your skin. There's some underneath that might be getting ready to show, but we wanna stop that early. So get in there and massage your skin. I'm going to wash my face at the end of this video just so you guys kind of get a feel of what I mean by really washing your skin. The last one, tip number five, is just to have a routine. A simple routine. A routine, a routine that's as simple as mine. My routine is wake up in the morning, girl, wash your face with a new rag in that cold water, put your moisturizer on, and go and then at night wash your face before you go to bed you should be washing your face a minimum twice a day sometimes i do it three times a day if i get home from work and my face is just feeling greasy it depends on the type of skin you have but if you have dry skin and your face feels greasy you have moist skin and your face feels dry it's okay to wash it even though you're not going anywhere Wash your face and then sit on your couch and watch your YouTube. Watch your Netflix. You should be able to be in tune with your skin, with your face. Like with your body, really. But we're talking about face and skincare in this video. Sometimes I can feel like when I'm about to have a breakout. And I'm like, oh yeah, no. I'm washing my face three times a day, all week. We don't want this breakout. So just take my five tips, remix them, use them as you like. Um, 
yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you heard something that you never heard before. And you can be on your way to flawless skin. It is possible. It's not just for these celebrities. Like, we can have flawless skin too. It's not just for your favorite YouTuber, favorite Instagram influencer. Like, you, us, as regular people, can have flawless skin. Doesn't matter what face wash, what moisturizer you're using, you follow these five tips and your skin will improve. Okay? There's other things that I do to make sure my skin stays on point, things that I eat. Let me know if you're interested in my, I don't know what I would call it, like skincare diet routine. I don't know. <laughs> but there's things that I eat that I believe greatly help with um, the presence and the texture of my skin. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Let me know if you try any of these steps. Let me know if you try them all. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. You know what to do. Show your girl some love.